Welcome back to Analytical Strategy. Today we are talking about my top six premiere episodes in Survivor history. The opening episode sets the scene for the entire season, and we've been lucky enough to witness some phenomenal episodes throughout the show's 20 year history. Today I'm just going to go through my top six opening episodes and explain what key moments made them the best of the best throughout Survivor's history. So, coming in at number six, we have the beloved David vs. Goliath. So, David vs. Goliath is one of the greatest new school season there is, there's no doubt about that. And the first episode really sets the tone for how this season plays out and how committed to the theme of David versus Goliath these castaways are. Angelina introducing how strong the Goliaths are. A team full of first round draft picks when she first sees the David tribe was really fitting for the theme of the show and that was tested in a really cool opening challenge and concept where the Goliaths had to pick the weakest Davids and the Davids got to choose their route through the challenge. The Goliaths funnily enough selected Big Bang Theory otherwise known as Christian, one of the all-time great characters Survivor has ever seen. A contestant who wrote papers on how to do slide puzzles, which resulted in the Davids blowing out the, the Goliaths in this opening challenge. So this was a really cool moment for this underdog story to begin. And the scene of Christian talking about how he could have saved a couple of seconds on that puzzle was also hilarious, and it really brought in his character into the show perfectly. On the Goliath side, we got to see the commencement of Napom Natalie, taking charge and getting on everyone's nerves, which is always top-notch television in itself. Unfortunately, it ended on a sad note, with Pat requiring to be medically evacuated after the immunity challenge, and he may have just saved Nick the winner of the season's life in the process. But overall, this is one of my favorite seasons ever, and the opening is a big contribution to why that is the case. And coming in at number five, we have the most recent season of Survivor, that is Winners at War. So the Winners at War premiere makes it into my top five of all time, and that is for one reason and one reason only goosebumps. The chills I got when the season actually started was insane. I couldn't believe a season like this was actually happening after 20 years of watching the show. Seeing all of these fantastic winners that I've grown up watching was really special, and I was so unbelievably pumped for months and months before it hit my screen, so when it actually happened it was really a surreal moment. The toast at the start was a really cool moment as well. The alliance building between these friends outside of the game was also awesome to see. Boston Robin Parvati was a really, really expected duo, but it was also so great to see those two in action. The Adam and Denise getting lost in the woods was both funny and also another great duo. Along with just being able to see players like Yule, Kim and Ethan who I've just wanted to see play again for such a long time. Natalie was a really rough first vote out though, purely due to being put on the same tribe as Jeremy, as well as Amber in the second half of the episode due to her relationship obviously with Boston Rob. But no matter who was voted out, it was a big name, but we all knew we would get to see more of them throughout the remainder of the season due to the edge. It makes it for nostalgic and sentimental reasons more than anything else, but it really still is an iconic moment in the history of this great game and it's one I will never forget. So coming in at number four, we have Survivor Game Changers. Now Game Changers may be a bit of a surprise to some, as a lot of people don't think too highly of this season, but its opening episode is really up there with the best that has ever been, primarily due to the second half due to it being a longer premiere. It started in classic fashion, gathering things from the boat before going back to camp, with Ozzy entering his hero role, getting the toolkit for his tribe, while Sierra obtained the legacy advantage. Back at one camp, we got to see old relationships try to be mended between Suri and Ozzy, whilst on the other, we see Tony running madly into the woods like the llama he is to look for the idol. A premiere that is Tony heavy, you know has to be up there with one of the best. His tribe ended up losing the challenge, where Sierra was sent home due to her over-strategizing by being the only person to throw out a name. In the second half, we saw Tony try to round up the threats, the lions of the game some may say, to all band together to keep themselves in the game. When Tony and Sandra said they were going to be a duo, I was so happy, as I didn't expect either of them to have too much longevity in the game, and then teaming up would have been phenomenal at the time this was televised. Unfortunately, this was pretty short-lived, and it wasn't long before we saw a Tony vs Sandra all-out war against each other, where Sandra became the victor and Tony was sent packing at the next Tribal Cancel. A really great opening episode to the season, and we may have turned, seen the biggest help for Tony to take out the winners at war a few seasons later. 
So up next at number three, we have Survivor Kagayan. So spoiler alert, if I ever do a seasons ranking in the future, Kagayan is my favorite season of all time. And the opening episode is a great one again, primarily due to the second half, due to it being a longer premiere again. The tribes are broken up into a brain, beauty, and brawn, which was the first time we saw this theme, which has been successful both times it has hit our screens. LJ, Sarah, and David were selected as the team captains and had to eliminate someone from their tribe with Morgan, Trish and surprisingly Garrett sent back to camp to make a big decision to either help their tribe or search for the idol. Trish did the honourable thing and helped the tribe whilst Morgan unsuccessfully looked for the idol and Garrett successfully finding it on day one. The first immunity challenge was a blowout, with the Brains tribe getting absolutely slaughtered and David's first mistake when he was made leader, sending Garrett back to camp, costing him his spot in the game during the first tribal council. The second half of the episode really heats up, with Cass making a deal with Spencer and Garrett on the Brains tribe to take the power, and Tony building his first ever spy shack on the Brawn tribe. With Tony's progression, this is a very special moment in Survivor history. In the next immunity challenge, ironically the Brains tribe member Injatia struggled really, really badly with the puzzle, causing them to lose out once again. Garrett decided to hold an open forum with the Brains tribe to get Jatia out of the game, and this really caused displeasure to Tasha who just wanted to strategize and play. She was able to have a really quick conversation with Cass, but in the meantime Jatia was throwing out all of the rice due to hearing she was going home due to Garrett's very questionable decision on having this open forum. Somehow even due to Jatia throwing out the rice, she was able to stay in the game over Garrett after Tasha successfully swung Cass to her side. And Garrett was blindsided with an idol in his possession. Spencer was welcomed to the bottom in a really top tier first episode in a top, top tier season. Up next, coming in in second place, we have Heroes vs. Villains. So in the penultimate position, it is the absolute classic season of Heroes vs. Villains. This premiere starts with an absolute bang in one of the toughest challenges in Survivor history, with heaps of adrenaline flowing through the contestants. They had to dig up a bag and then race to their mat to receive a point, but it didn't finish without its casualties. Stephanie and Rupert from the Heroes tribe both received injuries with a dislocated shoulder for Stephanie and a broken toe for Rupert. It, but the heroes were still able to come away with the win to get the flint for their tribe. We then got some insight into the villains camp and the beginning of the Russell vs Rob rivalry, with Russell trying to make top two deals with both Parvati and Danielle whilst Rob started to get the camp underway. The hero side also had some wheeling and dealing, but Sugar seemed to be clearly on the outs, especially through her chatter keeping her tribe mates up at night. And after the heroes lost the first immunity, Sugar was the first one eliminated. It was a great first episode. But again, what made it really special was seeing all of these fan favorite contestants all out there at once and hit the beach coming out and fighting. And I'm sure if there ever is a legend season in the future, a lot of this cast will get the callback to come and do it all over again. Which leads me to the number one slot of the best Survivor premiere episode of all time, and that is Survivor Pearl Islands. So for me, the best premiere episode in history goes all the way back to an old school season in Survivor Pearl Islands. The structure and theme of this season was perfectly set in the opening episode. I absolutely love the opening, with the contestants being given the local currency to purchase essentials at this local village. Sandra, right out of the gate, had a huge impact on the game, being able to speak the local language and really helping the Drake tribe excel in these early stages of the game. One other massive name of this season, and really probably the biggest name of Survivor at the time this season was aired was Rupert, and he quickly put his pirate instincts into action by stealing the opposition shoes from their unattended raft, and he used them to barter for extra goods for his tribe. And in addition to Rupert and Sandra, another huge character was born on the show, when the Drake tribe celebrated their successful day with a night on the wines, with Johnny Fairplay coming out to get on his tribe mate's nerves nice and early. But it didn't end there. We got to an iconic first immunity challenge, with a few of the male members of the Morgan tribe stripping off whilst pushing their cannon through a jungle, but ultimately coming up short with Nicole being the first vote out of this season. It was just an amazing episode from one of the all-time greatest Survivor seasons, and to me, is the best premiere episode in Survivor history. 
What do you guys think? Do you think Pearl Islands is the best Survivor premiere in history? Please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like and hit that subscribe button as we will be pushing out a range of more content very, very shortly. Again, this is Analytical Strategy signing out once again. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.